Hey guys, today in this video, I would like to share with you how you can use AI to help you pass your civil FE exam. And I know 100% that nobody else is talking about this. And this is going to put a lot of people out of business. But I want to share it with you because I know that it will help you and getting some with getting some extra practice. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of this powerful AI tools that we can use. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and open up chat GPT. So you just type in chat GPT and you're gonna see introducing chat GPT. Gonna pull this up um, and you're gonna say try chat GPT. And basically it's gonna make you log in and um, you're gonna, you can log in with Google. So really easy to go ahead and get started. So once you're in chat GBT, I do want to let you know the importance of how to use this tool. So you want to use this tool once you have fully understood the concepts that are going to be on your exam. For example, let's look at geotechnical engineering and this is in the fe manual once you have understood the concept of index properties and soil classifications once you have already done some practice problems on this topic you've looked at some solutions and you've maybe done some practice tests this tool is going to allow you to get even more practice in. So this is a tool to help us just get more practice. It's not a tool to teach us everything and to do all the work for us. So the way that you want to use this tool is you want to in, in chat GBT. So I'm just going to copy this specific topic because I know it works well with this topic. So I'm going to say, uh, create and hopefully you can see this so I'm gonna say create a multiple choice uh, problem So I'm going to say create a multiple choice index properties and soil classifications problem that can be solved in three to five minutes. Now, why did I type it out like this? Well, you have to let chat GPT know exactly what it is that you want. So I want a multiple choice question. Why? Because we're going to be getting multiple choice questions on our exam. OK, the next reason, the next thing I put was index properties and soil classifications problem. So I know I pulled that from, you know, a topic that is going to be covered on my exam. And then I put that can be done and solved in three to five minutes, because on the test, you're going to have roughly three minutes to solve questions so you don't want chat gbt to spit out an uh some type of problem that's going to take you 10 or 15 minutes so once we hit enter and let's see what chat gbt pulls up okay all right so here's Sure, here's a multiple choice problem on index properties and soil classifications. Which of the following index properties is not used in soil classification? And so it says liquid limit, plastic limit, shrinkage limit, and grain size distribution. Okay, so I'm gonna say, uh, give, me an an give me answer. And so I just wanna make sure that uh, Okay, so it spits out an answer. Now, the important thing about this is, is you have to have already mastered the concept, understood the concept, because you can fact check chat GBT. All right, so I did an even deeper dive 
into the soil classifications because I saw that the initial problem that I did, it didn't go super into detail. So I said, um, within soils classification, what are some of the different things that you're going to learn or be tested on with within soil classification? So I know the ASTRO method is pretty popular to to go through. So I said, create a ASTRO soil classification problem that can be solved in three to five minutes. And so it gave me like a really short problem, still only giving me liquid limit and plastic limit, and then kind of making me solve for PI. And then from there, it throwing out a, a soil A7. But I felt like that was a little bit too easy. So I said, I just typed in a little tougher and it gave me a percentage passing through a number 200 sieve, which is nice. Gave me moisture content, which is great. So then it made me solve through. And so I couldn't only just use, you know, finding PI to, to classify the soil. I had to find the group index and a few other things uh, to classify that soil. So this thing goes pretty in depth. You just have to be very direct with the questions that you ask it. This, this tool is very powerful, but it does have some uh, limitations. I'll just pull up one other one that it gave when I did this. It says, I typed in the same exact thing and it spit out a totally different question. So that's why it's really, this is a really, really powerful tool because they're gonna test you on different things. So I kind of like this one better. It says the index properties of a soil sample were determined in the laboratory. Liquid limit LL was found to be 45% and the plastic limit was determined as 25%. Based on these values, what is the plastic index? So in our manual, I know that, you know, I think it's PL minus LL is equal to, or the, the, the PL being the plastic limit minus the liquid limit should be equal to the plastic index, maybe, maybe not. Well, either way we can fact check this, um, but they tell us the answer is B. So it gives us a multiple choice question. It lays, a, laid out, lays out our answer and it gives us the reason why that is. So this is a tool that you can really use to, to help you. Now I will say this, you cannot, use this tool for every type of question and let me explain why so like in structural engineering they may like give you pictures of a truss or beams or maybe not with structural engineering but with statics i know that they're going to give you some images and some pictures of different things like results in the results resultants of four systems. Let's just try this one and see what it um, gives us. All right. So my computer was freezing up a little bit, but let's look at, we'll just, we'll just do resultants of four systems and see what comes up. I'm going to basically say, uh, create, a multiple choice. Um, what was the resultants of force systems? Resultant of force systems problem that can be solved in three to five minutes. Let's see what comes up. Sometimes it takes chat GBT a minute to, to spit out an answer. So you can see chat GBT is like really, really smart, but it does take some time and it's actually given us a potential question. Now it says shown in the diagram below, 
So you're going to see that I do believe in the diagram. It's going to look a little funky, but chat GPT may be improving on this very soon. So we may get something that says what is the magnitude and direction of the resultant force. And it kind of gives us a, a image. So this force A has a magnitude 20 newtons and is, di and is directed to the left at an angle of 30 degrees above the horizontal. So I can visually see that. Um, so it, it does give you kind of a visual picture of what those forces would look like. And by taking the sum of the forces in the X and the Y, um, and getting, you know, your magnitude force, you'll still be able to, you should still be able to get an answer. So this is some really, really powerful, powerful stuff. So it's still kind of spinning out an answer. Um, I really like it for dynamics, mathematics. What are some of the other topics? I don't like it for really ethics and professional practice. Engineering economics is really good for statics is pretty decent for in some some of them dynamics is great mechanics and materials is pretty good materials is all right i found some of the answers to be wrong so that's why it's really important to make sure you're studying the right material make sure you're understanding the concepts and then you can fact check chat gpt now, if you're looking for a resource that has videos, that has your practice problems, that has practice quizzes and links to practice tests, that is all in one document that has all of these topics that are going to be covered on your civil FE exam, all 14 of these, it really totals up to 80 different subtopics. And I've compiled it into one document where you literally just click, watch the video, click, do some practice problems, click take the practice quiz, click, see the solutions. Like it's super simple. If you want access to that, feel free to check out the links down in the description box below. You're gonna see one that has like a full self-study guide. That's the one that has everything in it. But if you want to you know, get the sample version, you can do that by checking out the free, research, the free resources down in the description box below. So let's see what this spit out. So it's really, you know, going through and solving this problem for us step by step. It's crazy. Very, very, very crazy. So hopefully you found this uh, video to be helpful. Like I said, AI is a very, very powerful tool that you can use to help you with studying for your civil FE exam. Hope that you all master the concepts first and foremost, and you do tons of practice problems and get clear on the solutions of those practice problems. Take some practice tests and then start using some of this powerful you know, AI software to be able to help you to pass. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want more tips and strategies to help you pass your civil FE exam. Thank you all for watching this video and I will see you all in the next one.